Sasha Robles, and this is what had you buzzing this week on Trend Spotting. It has been confirmed. The man involved in this Wednesday's high-speed chase was found and pronounced dead. In a press release from Anderson Air Force Base Public Affairs, they confirmed that the suspect was pronounced deceased on scene while receiving medical attention by emergency medical personnel. It was around 7.30 p.m. on Wednesday, police responded to a report of a home invasion along Epal Road. The suspect took police on a high-speed chase from Tamunin through Jigo. The suspect then rammed through the barriers at the front gate to Anderson Air Force Base, crashed into the jungle area, and fled on foot. The base was then placed on lockdown. It wasn't until 6.35 a.m. on Thursday, Anderson Air Force Base confirmed the suspect had been located. During the apprehension, he stabbed a Department of Defense civilian security force member. During the altercation, base security shot him, which the Air Force says was in self-defense. Frank over on Facebook asked, anybody know the condition of the DOD guard? And Chris stated, this was USAF security force and not GPD. The sign on the fence says the use of deadly force is authorized. The name of the suspect has not been released. Last year, the first Instaguam was held in Manila as part of the Guam Visitors Bureau strategy to attract more visitors from the Philippine market. The event brought representatives from Guam to showcase our island's culture, products, and cuisine to attract potential visitors and business investments to Guam. This year's Instaguam made its debut on Guam with the first Travel Talks Digital Global Summit. Everybody is just uh, sharing their expertise with one another and I think that uh, we can walk away from this summit taking back some new uh, tools or new tips on how to better position our businesses and our practices using the power of social media and digital media. It brought in international social media influencers as well as online travel platform leaders to cultivate effective collaborations that work toward growing our island's number one industry. GVB board chairman Sunny Atta said the integration of social media influencers into the marketing strategies of local businesses is a new frontier. Platforms like Instagram promote our island globally and we have to be able to back up the image being projected. It seems like there has been an increase in butterfly sightings around the island. Videos and photos posted by Instagram users have been spreading like wildfire. So why exactly are we seeing so many now? Dr. Kurt Fiedler, a biology professor at the University of Guam, has a simple explanation. Um, probably the reason we're seeing a lot of them right now is that we have a perfect storm of conditions where we had a very dry spring and early summer, and we had a lot of rain. Um, and now we have conditions that are ideal for their reproduction, or at least a few weeks ago when these guys first came out. Here are some video clips from our Instagram users. Tomorrow is the nationwide Clear the Shelters Day. If you stop by game between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. tomorrow and adopt a pet, you can get a free refreshment as well as prizes. Stop by and adopt a beautiful furry friend. You can also visit our link in our bio to view our playlist of our Clear the Shelter special, featuring owners of rescue pets around the island and their wonderful stories. Lastly, we finally jumped on the gift train and have created our very own KUEM gifts. Make sure to check them out when posting Posting Instagram stories by simply switching to the search bar and typing in KUAM or Guam. Don't worry, we'll definitely be making more. So please let us know what Guam gifts you'd like to see and our digital team will happily help.